The vast majority of back injuries are preventable. However, many back problems are not the result of injury, but are the result of degeneration of the discs. Aging of the spinal disc material causes the most trouble and can cause extreme pain. What this means is that over the years, these delicate discs become worn and damaged. Think of all the times you lifted improperly, how you bent your back or twisted your back. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that if you abuse something, no matter how wonderfully it's constructed, it'll wear out. The more abuse it takes, the faster it'll wear out. You've all heard the warnings about bending your legs and not your back. That's good advice because when you bend your legs, you're keeping those discs in their natural curvature. This natural curvature allows the disc to be spread evenly across your vertebrae, which means that pressure on the disc is applied evenly across the entire surface of the disc and not in just one part of the disc. Let's take a quick look at some of the basic principles of how your back works. The back is a delicate and complex part of your body. The spine has a spinal cord running down the inside of your vertebrae or bones, which connect to nerves. The bones are separated by discs. Each disc is a circular pad filled with a liquid under pressure. The disc looks like a soft hockey puck with jelly on the inside. The discs work like shock absorbers or springs, making the back flexible, but not allowing the bones to hit one another or pinch those nerves. Now what this all means is that the discs are very important in maintaining a healthy back. If you bend over like this, you're pinching those discs on one side, which means a tremendous amount of pressure is applied to a small portion of the disc, and eventually the disc will become damaged. When this occurs, surgery may be necessary. There's another part of the back that's important, and these are the ligaments. Ligaments are attached to the bones and can stretch as your back stretches and moves. The ligaments support your back, just as your back muscles support your back. If you bend and twist or turn too far, those ligaments can tear. Torn ligaments are very painful and take quite a time to heal. Okay, there's more about your back. When you lift anything, there's about a 10 to 1 ratio of pressure applied to your back. It's fairly simple because your back works on a lever principle, just like a seesaw. The only problem is, is that when you lift something weighing 10 pounds, it puts over 100 pounds of pressure on your back. If you lift 50 pounds, that's 500 pounds of pressure on your back. Now, if you take that 50 pounds and hold it out in front of you like this, you're probably putting over 2,000 to 3,000 pounds of pressure on your back. The moral of the story is simply this. When you lift anything, even a small object, bend your legs so you'll have the back and those discs in their natural curvature. The discs can do their job, the ligaments won't get torn, and your back will be in better shape. When lifting, keep the natural curvature of your back by bending your legs when you reach down to pick up anything. Don't lift and twist your body. When you twist your body when lifting, the discs, the ligaments, the nerves, and your bones get clobbered. The same thing goes for stretching and lifting. If you need to lift something higher than your shoulders, get a better grip on the item you're lifting or use a ladder or mechanical means of lifting. Of course, when you're lifting anything and it starts to fall, let it drop. Never try to catch anything. Remember the 10 to 1 ratio? Well, a fairly heavy item, such as a television set, when dropped and you try to catch it, it could add up to 10,000 or more pounds of pressure on your back. Let falling objects fall. The most often asked question is, what about those lifting positions where you can't bend your legs? It's a good question, and that's where your knowledge of the back comes in handy. There are hundreds of lifting assignments where you can't always bend your legs. The best advice is to keep those discs in mind when you're getting ready for the lift. You can use your free hand as a support for your back. How about those mechanics installing batteries in automobiles? Can't bend your legs and still set the battery inside the battery compartment. The answer is to use your legs against the fender when lifting. Anything you can use to support your back is good advice. Okay, let's now take a look at how to lift safely. The first rule is to never lift anything that's too heavy. Get help when it's necessary. For some people, 100 pounds may be okay. Some people, 50 pounds may be too much. Each person has different capabilities, so it's up to you to know your limitations and ask for help when it's needed. Place your feet as close to the object you're lifting as you can. Bend your legs. 
get a good, firm palm grip. By lifting the object in the palms of your hands, this will reduce the possibility of the object slipping. The next step is very important. Pull the object close to your body. The reason for this is to reduce the amount of pressure on your back. Remember the 10 to 1 ratio? The farther out you hold an object, the heavier it is and the more pressure you put on your back. Next, stand up. Let's look at the sequence again. Place your feet close to the object. Bend your legs and squat down near the object. Get a good palm grip. Pull the object close to your body. Stand up. When you set anything down, use the same procedures, only backwards. Bend your legs. Set the object down, being careful not to pinch your fingers. Then stand up again. It's really very simple, but one that's easy to forget. You get busy and you don't think about your back, and you lift unsafely. Every time you lift unsafely, you're putting pressure on your discs, and eventually, they'll wear out. Does lifting safely mean you'll have to slow down and won't be as productive as before? Lifting safely means you'll be able to do your job more efficiently, faster, and without injury. That's a great benefit, and it'll mean many more active years for your back. Exercise before beginning work is a good idea. Just like an automobile, your back needs to warm up a little bit starting the day. Before you lift anything, think about those delicate discs and ligaments and use your good judgment on how to lift safely. If you have any questions or you do experience a back injury, always report it to your supervisor immediately. Don't wait for a day or two later. Always report accidents and injuries when they occur. Well, that's it. No magic formula or miracle cures, just some basic common sense, good judgment, and think about those discs when you lift anything. If you keep those discs spread evenly between your bones, you're going to have a healthy back that will enable you to lift safely, with the additional advantage of having a pain-free back. Bend your legs, get a good grip on the object, hold it close to your body, and don't twist your back. Don't stretch and lift. If you're lifting something and it falls, let it fall. Take time for safety because it's important to you, your family, and your job. Thank you.